Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining this lab conference about Bentela and Pinifarina solutions for the future of electric mobility with the excellent body design and fast vehicle prototypes while using the Bentela platform. In short, design meets functionality. My name is Eva Strovsky and I'm heading communications and marketing at Bentela Automotive and I have the honor to moderate this event. This event. You all know Mobility will be electric, but building an electric vehicle is not as easy as it seems. With us, everybody has access to an open platform solution that's proven itself on the market. Together with our engineering services, you can customize this platform to your individual needs. With our partner, Pinin Farina, we offer integrated body design solutions based on this platform, all in one stop shop. In this step conference, Giuseppe Vanolo, Senior, Senior Vice President Sales and Marketing of Pinin Farina. Dimitri Vicedomini, Head of Studio Design Auto Pinin Farina. Tiziana Taveri, Sales and Business Development Manager Pinin Farina. As well as Marco Kohlmeier, Vice President of the Bentler Business Unit in Mobility. And Julia Hans, Manager of Business Development and Sales of the Bentler Business Unit in Mobility. We'll show you how we enable car manufacturers established OEMs and plan to build vehicle types and different body integrations based on our solution and thus reduce their time to market with two well-established and reliable automotive parts. So before Giuseppe, Dimitri, Tiziana, Marco and Julia start, I would like to inform you about two important items. First, we use Microsoft Teams for the web conference, a service provided by the Microsoft Corporation based in the US. The data is stored on servers in the European Union, but the possibility of transferring analysis data to a third country cannot be excluded. By participating in the web conference, you agree to processing of your personal data by the Wendler Group. Information on the user as well as technical data are recorded. In case of dial-in via phone, the incoming and outcoming telephone number and the duration of participation are also stored. We will record this web conference and may publish it on our internal or external communication channel. Second, you have the possibility to use the chat function during the web conference in order to ask questions. We gather these questions and Marco, Giuseppe, Dimitri, Tiziana and Julia will answer them after their presentation. Chat questions, once entered, cannot be seen by you or other participants. We encourage you to ask questions. This web conference relies on your questions. Now, it only remains for me to wish you much joy and excitement. We start with Giuseppe. Giuseppe, the virtual stage is yours. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Eve, uh, for uh, the introduction. Uh, I'm just uh, moving uh, immediately to uh, the Pininfarina section, but uh, prior to that, uh, allow me just uh, in uh, in view of the uh, title of this uh, webinar, Pininfarina Bentler Design Meets Functionality, allow me just to thank uh, warmly the whole Bentler team for uh, hosting Pininfarina in this webinar and for giving us uh, the opportunity to present uh, the work that we have done uh, together, Bentler and uh, Inifarina. And actually, you already introduced uh, myself uh, and you introduced uh, my colleagues. Uh, uh, so uh, to complete uh, the overview, uh, I would just uh, make a, a quick introduction to the global organization at Pininfarina. You may see here, basically we have uh, our uh, quarter near Turin, where uh, all uh, the design team uh, in all the different so-called uh, verticals, uh, starting from the automotive, uh, are grouped. Uh, there around, uh, we have uh, our wind tunnel, our own wind tunnel, and we have uh, our engineering team uh, specialized uh, in the so-called uh, feasibility engineering uh, of design development. We will talk uh, later on uh, more specifically about that uh, and we have our uh, uh, facilities for uh, niche manufacturing. 
everything that needs in physical to be produced, uh, prototypes, uh, show cars, uh, running show cars, and again, uh, we will talk about that uh, later on. We have then uh, our engineering team uh, in Germany, between mostly Munich uh, and Stuttgart uh, for serving uh, German uh, OEMs. And then important to say, we have uh, a design team in the automotive in uh, Shanghai, China, for uh, serving uh, local customers. And this uh, overview, global overview, somehow brought us uh, to uh, start uh, talking with, uh, with Bentler and Bosch for uh, the so-called uh, strategic collaboration. Uh, then went uh, to the one-stop shop uh, solution. The principle behind uh, is, is quite simple. Uh, we all know that uh, the electric vehicle market uh, is, is booming uh, and uh, somehow the effects of the pandemic uh, uh, that brought uh, an even uh, broader uh, awareness in the public uh, for uh, environmental sustainable solutions uh, uh, that further uh, enhanced this trend. So the idea behind uh, is uh, to uh, join uh, uh, energies uh, and join forces uh, on one side, uh, Bentler with the beds, uh, on the other side, uh, Pininfarina, merging uh, our uh, design capabilities, uh, our styling capabilities uh, with uh, the engineering uh, of the beds, uh, of the skateboard, uh, in order to make uh, faster and more efficient for a customer. It may be a, a traditional car maker or a startup company bringing a new, a new generation of uh, products uh, to the market. This is uh, the principle uh, behind. To achieve that, uh, at Pininfarina, we go through a process uh, uh, which is called the convergence process uh, between uh, styling uh, and engineering. Uh, Dimitri will tell you much more in detail uh, about uh, this process, which is crucial because it's uh, the way through which uh, the uh, constraints uh, of uh, uh, technical uh, aspects uh, of uh, a given platform, uh, whatever it is, uh, they are being treated uh, in uh, the most creative way from the styling standpoint uh, in order to achieve uh, the desired uh, outcome uh, in terms of uh, design. And this, uh, through this process, uh, we may uh, have uh, in particular two uh, outcomes uh, that are a sort of a spin-off of this process. One is uh, related to purely virtual uh, outcomes. At Pininfarina, we have uh, uh, a so-called virtual lab, uh, which uh, allows uh, to spin off from this convergence process uh, all the aspects uh, that uh, do define uh, a new vehicle uh, in terms of uh, design, look and feel, uh, based, uh, as uh, I was saying before, based uh, on uh, a platform, in this case on, uh, on the beds for uh, electric vehicles. And this uh, uh, solution uh, allows uh, to anticipate uh, uh, the final outcome in the way that a show car will look. It may be what we call uh, a virtual show car. This is uh, the first uh, spin-off of this convergence process uh, that uh, brings uh, a given result uh, to the eyes of uh, the stakeholders that, they, that have to decide uh, about uh, the development process uh, of a new product uh, or an entire new families uh, of product. The other spin-off uh, is uh, a physical running show car, which uh, thanks to the technology and the solutions, uh, technical solutions uh, provided by Bentler is now uh, getting uh, a new level uh, of uh, performance. Uh, aesthetics uh, and design provided by Pininfarina and performance uh, and uh, let's say uh, proximity to a serious production uh, thanks uh, to Bentler, but still uh, remaining uh, at the level of uh, a show car. This means that uh, many decisions uh, can be anticipated uh, thanks to such a demonstrator. And again, uh, uh, Tiziana in particular will uh, uh, bring you 
through uh, the presentation dedicated to a running show car. So I'm just uh, finishing my overview. Uh, I will uh, remain uh, available for all the questions uh, and I'm now pleased to hand over to Marco Kolmeyer. Thank you. Thank you, Giuseppe. A warm welcome also from my side. My name is Marco Kolmeyer. I'm the Vice President of our Global Business Unit, UMPT at Wenzler. In the last three years, we developed together with our partners a platform for full electric vehicles called Wendler Electric Drive System. In this platform, we have integrated all relevant systems of the e-powertrain and the shell. Why have we done this? Working more than 10 years with electric vehicle applications, we know the pain points of the e-mobility market. We often face lower volumes with less or no scale effect, limited e-mobility know-how in the market, pressure of fast time to market, and the strong need for reduced development costs. With our platform, we enable our customers to solve these challenges by using pre-integrated system solutions and engineering support from us and our partner network of automotive and manufacturing experts. Today, we want to focus on the absolute most asked question in platform technology. How do you solve the marriage of platform and body? And who can tell you more about that than one of the leading design companies and glamorous automotive brands, Finin Farina? But before Julia, Dimitri, and Tiziana take you on a deep dive journey into our webinar topic, please let me shortly introduce Bentler, as maybe not everybody is aware of what Bentler is standing for. So Bentler as a group is a nearly 150-year family-owned company located in Austria and Germany, with two divisions, the biggest one automotive and the steel tube business. We are there where the customer is, uh, typically for an automotive company, in 100, uh, 100 locations in 28 countries, and we have 30,000 employees all over the world. The biggest division is Bentler Automotive, with 26,000 employees and nearly, 20, uh, nearly 70 plants in 25 countries. Follow our customers where they locate their vehicle manufacturing. Our products, our products include nearly all parts of the vehicle. So we call it, we are the core of the vehicle. So we are experts in chassis and chassis modules um, all over the world. We are experts in structural parts of body parts mainly in crash management areas with high strength steel and ultra high strength steel. Our powertrain unit, engine and exhaust system takes care about the periphery of, of gasoline and diesel engines. And the counterpart, the business unit electromobility, of course, takes care about electrification in system solutions, as Julia will show you in a minute. We build our own tools uh, with our mechanical engineering business unit, so we take care on our own manufacturing technology and uh, maybe as a little adjacent market, we serve for lightweight protection, which means a ballistic, uh, ballistic steel made for uh, private used security cars. With our business unit, E-mobility, we started in 2017 with a foundation, which means we focused as one face to the customer with this BU to the new e-mobility market. We launched in 2017 the first generation of our platform in the, uh, on the Shanghai Auto Show. And of course, with the second generation in 2019 on the Shanghai Auto Show again, together with our partners, Bosch, Vibracoustic, and Pininfarina. Um, you could have met us also on the EAA in Frankfurt last year and this year in Las Vegas on the CES 
where we were guests on the Bosch booth. Actually, and this is what we are very proud of and what we are told by the customers, our platform seems to be actual a kind of benchmark in the market in the area of open platforms. And what is most important, we already proved its performance while having set up uh, several prototypes, show cars, and maybe you have seen it on YouTube, our, our Dune buggy, our BETS 2.1, while driving uh, on, a, on a test drive and showing its performance. Uh, Bentler supports a full business strategy. That means you can receive as a service the full engineering, the prototyping, the manufacturing of all bed systems uh, and sub-modules and um, e-mobility is mentioned meanwhile as a global full system supplier in the e-mobility market. We work together uh, in a strong global and local collaboration network. And here, Pininfarina is one of our main partners in this collaboration network. So that means together with our partners, we can nearly cover the whole vehicle in engineering and manufacturing. But of course, we don't want to become a car manufacturer or an OEM. Um, actually, we have corporations, as mentioned, in the fields of battery technology, in electronics, and in VH technology with our partners, Sunvoda for the batteries, Bosch for the whole electric and electronic architecture, and Fibracoustics for the very difficult topic of, um, of NVH, and of course, Pininfarina as a partner for the body. Uh, as, as we are a partner for the underbody. Thank you, and, and now I will hand over first to Julia before the excitement gets too high. Julia, please. Thank you very much, Marco. So, um, um, hello to all. Um, so, I would like to introduce our Bentley Electric Drive System platform to you a little bit more. So, as Marco mentioned um, a minute ago, the BET is an open platform and currently it's a benchmark for electric vehicles um, from the D to F segment. Um, the platform combines um, the e-mobility systems, the integrated e-chassis modules, front and rear, and also the modular battery pack. And um, together with the partners um, Bosch, Vibracoustic, and Pininfarina, we optimize the interfaces of the e-powertrain, the EE architecture, and the body. So this big platform for the D, E, and F segment is completely developed. Um, it is pre-validated and tested. And um, we did, uh, or we performed the functional proof um, on a module level, but also on the vehicle level. So on the module level, we mainly did a virtual simulation as well as the validation on test tricks for the mechanical interfaces um, and the NVH performance of the chassis modules. Um, we tested the durability for all the subsystems, so the chassis modules, the battery pack, but also the battery modules, including the battery ma management system. And of course, we did um, check the crash performance of the battery pack itself. Um, looking to the vehicle level, um, as Marco already mentioned as well, we built up three prototypes, um, the BET 2.0, the 2.1, and the 2.2, which is currently still um, in the building process or in the finalization. And um, with these prototypes, um, we performed a virtual simulation of the right behavior and also a validation on a test track, including the acceleration, vehicle range, and the energy consumption. So furthermore, the NVH system validation and the simulation of the crash performance was also done on a um, full vehicle level. So, and since we recognize a strong need for platforms for the smaller vehicle segments, we started the development of the small platform for the B and C segment vehicles. Um, and here we also apply for the development um, work um, the same logic as we did for the big platform, and we of course benefit from the lessons learned that we have so far. So the BET platform with its subsystem is a completely scalable and modular solution and can be easily adjusted to different vehicle sizes. 
So this offers our customers a significant reduction of development time that can be up to one year. Platform is pre-integrated solution and includes the EE architecture with the VCU and the E-motors in the front and rear chassis are based on Bosch e -Echo. We have an existing supply base for the platform and the subsystems and with the reached maturity level, um, the platform is ready for industrialization. So to, to repeat it again, um, you see here the modular or an extract of the modularity of our um, bed. So we can provide the full range of products to our customers from the integrated e-modules, um, chassis front and rear, and the battery pack, which uh, can be combined to the bed platform you see in the middle, um, and completed to a full rolling chassis based on two different body concepts. On one hand, we have the concept of flex frame for a body on frame design, which you see on the left side of this um, slide. Um, on the other hand, we have an underbody concept for a unibody architecture here on the right side um, of the slide. Um, and this is again, um, it, uh, it, it says that the BES is an adjustable modular construction which offers the possibility of smart customization for application development in the short time. To go a little bit deeper on the body concepts, so which are mainly responsible to achieve the scalability and flexibility of the of our um, platforms or the rolling chassis. So, regarding the frame design, we use this one in our DES um, platform. Um, and we could reach the high flexibility by choosing a knot to profile design. And you see here on the right side of this um, slide um, the variable zones of the flex frame that make it um, adjustable in length and also in track width. Um, and the same for the underbody, which we will use or we are currently using in the development of the B and the C platform and the small platform and we can achieve the flexibility by choosing different design zones. And here again, um, you see that it is variable in length and therefore uh, makes the platform scalable in different zones. So both designs enable us and the customers to set up EV vehicles very fast and with a reduced complexity. And the scalability of the frame and the underbody is a huge lever for the efficiency of our platform. So to summarize the flex frame and the underbody concept, um, they form the backbone of battery electric vehicle architectures because they connect all the surrounding systems like the chassis modules, the battery pack, the crash management system, the thermal management, and of course the body and wide. So it contains the hard points that are necessary for the basic vehicle design and package. And also the connecting points for the upper body are predefined and taking as the basis to shape the different vehicle designs. So with the engineering competencies of both Pinetamina and Benta, we secure the full system engineering on vehicle level. The main competencies on Benta are on the side of the underbody. We can provide the full system integration of the chassis and the battery pack, including the interface definition. Furthermore, we have have our know-how in manufacturing engineering and the process for component manufacturing as well as for module assembly. We provide CAD design for components and modules as well, including the definition of all specification um, with tier two content too. And of course, um, we do a CAE verification. So the core competencies of Sinin Farina are mainly on the upper body and the styling of the vehicle, and this includes the exterior and interior and the vehicle design, the upper body integration, the color and rim, and as Giuseppe mentioned in the beginning, the virtual lab, where virtual reality is used to judge the virtual design and the vehicle model.
So the combination of both parties' engineering competency allows the definition of a body stiffness that is close to serious data. So, and with this information, I would like to hand over to Dimitri to tell you a little bit more about the competencies and capabilities of the Thank you. Hello, thank you very much, uh, Julia. Hello, everybody and uh, welcome to the design stage uh, of this webinar. Um, before going in detail on the Pinifarina studies um, based on the BEDS platform, uh, let me please introduce you to our development and convergence uh, process. Uh, we always uh, uh, start from the uh, UX experience as a foundation on which uh, uh, to build the design. In fact, the data uh, we collect uh, allowed us to uh, start a preliminary activity uh, based on teasers to identify uh, some of the key elements uh, uh, coming from uh, this research. Um, in the same time, we conduct uh, also some market trend analysis and market uh, competitor uh, comparison in order to study what's going on in the design uh, field uh, in many aspects uh, from the surface treatment to the lighting technology to the infotainment and also we study the main competitor of the cars uh, uh, we are uh, developing in order to be sure that we can identify uh, uh, the key design elements uh, and then compare to the ones we are doing in order to be sure that we can create a, a kind of uniqueness. Um, after this, uh, we start uh, uh, the real uh, design job, uh, which is uh, done through sketches. We made uh, uh, several sketches and here is really the ground of emotions and uh, we must be really able to bring this emotion to our clients uh, in order to um, uh, let's, let's uh, say uh, uh, him, wow, this is really the car I like. And uh, once the, the main uh, direction is, uh, is chosen, uh, we move to the next uh, um, phase of the development, uh, which is represented uh, by the renderings. This is valid for both exterior and interior. And in this phase, we taking care of each single aspect of the car from the volume to the uh, surfaces to the little details. In parallel to this activity, uh, our color and uh, green department uh, uh, works uh, uh, in a similar way, uh, preparing uh, uh, and study, uh, study the trend analysis and preparing mood boards, uh, representing uh, uh, the main uh, key concepts and ideas to be developed for the uh, car. And then uh, this sample becomes uh, um, uh, real in terms of, of uh, material and painting to be applied first uh, digitally in the visualization stage and then physically in the model uh, uh, stage. Here we come to the uh, 3D development uh, and convergent phase. This is really a key moment. It's a really uh, important phase where uh, design and uh, technical convergence meet. And uh, it's um, uh, exactly uh, uh, the place in which we conduct uh, most of the studies for this uh, um, uh, bed, uh, beds platform in order to be sure that uh, each kind of top hat we had in mind can really work well uh, from engineering point of view with the platform, but mainly uh, from uh, uh, styling point of view. And so we got finally uh, the result that there's no doubt that this combination is working in um, every kind of uh, uh, car we can imagine. In this stage, digital models are representing the car uh, in each aspect in 3D, and it's possible to visualize it in both exterior and interior uh, shapes. And designers are working uh, uh, beside, together with our engineering team, that of course uh, is making studies and analysis on each single aspect of the project, from the package analysis at the beginning of the styling research, and step by step going into a, a deeper um, um, a phase of <coughs> product uh, uh, feasibility and product development. 
Um, we can also realize uh, um, uh, physical models in different materials and sizes, uh, full size or uh, partial scale, depending on the uh, stage of the product, of the project, sorry. And um, uh, these uh, models are derived directly from the 3D data I was mentioning before. Uh, a milling machine realized the models, and once they are ready, a team of very expert uh, uh, modelers together with our design team uh, <clears throat> walk around and uh, uh, judge them in every single aspect. And when they found a, a particular area that can be optimized, they work together until uh, the desired shapes is uh, uh, kept. And then we reverse uh, uh, the data through a scanning to the 3D uh, uh, phase. Um, here we talk about the virtual lab, as uh, uh, Giuseppe and Julia mentioned bef before. It's a really uh, important step uh, in our uh, uh, development process. And uh, I would like to mention the fact that uh, we are doing this in our headquarters in uh, uh, Cambiano in our uh, Sala Sergio, which is dedicated to Sergio Pininfarina, a very visionary uh, man who brought our company in the 50s from the artisanal coach builder dimension to the industrial uh, one. And so we fought uh, uh, to dedicate the most advanced room we have uh, to, uh, to him. Here we can experiment uh, a lot of different uh, uh, things applied uh, into the virtual and the physical models. And we can start uh, from uh, more simple stages of visualization where, for example, uh, we show and sharing remote with our uh, uh, customer, if not present physically, especially in this time of COVID-19, uh, the, the CAD data. And they can be shown in different uh, colors or different uh, uh, trees or again <clears throat> in different uh, environment condition outside, inside. And also uh, through videos, uh, we can uh, uh, all enjoy uh, the, the cars run. There is also another possibility, uh, thanks to uh, immersive reality, which is really cool because uh, uh, even though uh, the people are not uh, uh, together with us in the studio, they can really virtually be inside uh, uh, the car, for example, and judging the design, the perceived quality, they can even interact with the object while, for example, the object is, uh, is also in a real environment running on, uh, on the road. Or, uh, if you imagine uh, to make a benchmark comparison, uh, we can also place uh, a car, a competitor car, uh, virtually beside the one we are developing, just to make a comparison from each angle, uh, how they would look like uh, uh, together and finding differences and maybe areas in which we can upgrade uh, the work. So all of this, uh, as I said, uh, uh, was the base behind the, the study we conduct uh, uh, on this uh, BEDS platform. And here you can find visualized just the three uh, samples of the main opportunities uh, uh, of bodies we can have uh, um, upon this, uh, this platform. The first is an SUV, the second is a sedan, and the third is an MPV. As Julia explained before, they share a lot of common parts, particularly uh, the front uh, uh, X uh, uh, position and module, but in, uh, in terms of proportion, they look very different uh, one to the other because effectively every dimension has changed. Now, let me go a little bit more in detail uh, for each of them. Starting from the SUV, this SUV is based on the shortest wheelbase possible on this platform. The dimension is 2,850. And we have in this case the biggest tire possible to ensure, of course, very good proportion, but also a right uh, stance uh, from the ground. And here we imagine a volume uh, that allowed to host inside five plus two people, but because of the flexibility of the platform, it would be very easy um, to uh, make, for example, a five-seater with a short overhang or a seven-seater with a longer one and uh, a more vertical volume uh, in the back. Moving to the sedan, uh, here the key point was always the proportion because uh, we really believe at Pininfarina that these are the, the, the base of a good design and forever will be for us. So in this case, uh, the objective was to get uh, 
uh, enough presence uh, of the car through a longer nose, and that's why we used the, the um, uh, most backward position of the windshield, and we stretched to a longest dimension the wheelbase, 3000, and this allowed us also to have more battery uh, capacity. Also in this case, uh, it would be possible quite easily uh, to derive other kind of uh, uh, cars, for example, uh, cooks on the same wheelbase in case of an executive uh, uh, cook or on a shorter wheelbase like the one we saw before in the case of the SUV, so more sporty and dynamic. The last sample is the MPV, a classic MPV with big roominess inside. We call it about uh, seven seater uh, uh, for this configuration. We extend to the maximum level possible the wheelbase, 3,150, and we did also the battery capacity increase. In this case, uh, we play uh, on the proportion, moving uh, the base of the windshield as the most forward uh, position in order to get very good proportion and a proper and a, uh, sorry a proper profile for this typology of cars and uh, as uh, i said before also in this case there are a lot of possibilities for example we can also imagine an intriguing mixture of uh, uh, typologies of cars for example using the lower uh, part uh, coming from the suv on this wheelbase so with bigger tires and higher stance uh, uh, um, uh, from the ground and apply an upper hat uh, a little bit lower, more sporty. Imagine a kind of crossover fitting, for example, for five or six uh, uh, people. So <clears throat> to conclude, um, the biggest uh, uh, gift we as designer got from, from this uh, platform was really that we can basically decide from the scratch about uh, the proportions. Um, normally, uh, we always, uh, uh, up to now, we always uh, um, used to receive from uh, our clients a frozen package that sometimes works very well, so we can really dedicate our time on the beautiful styling, but sometimes not so much. So we have to find tricks uh, uh, using the styling to fix some of the problems that proportion have basically in terms of uh, uh, package. So here we can really offer a competitive uh, uh, overall package from engineering and styling point of view, fitting with uh, uh, the wishes from the OEM and the expectation from the clients. And uh, with uh, uh, such a high level of engineering, we can really play um, uh, with our uh, Pininfarina styling as really the cherry on the cake. So I thank you for your uh, attention and now I'm pleased to give the speech to my colleague Tiziana. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dimitri. Hello, I am Tiziana, and I am part of the sales and marketing team of Pininfarina. As manager for sales and business development, I am asked very often by car manufacturers, mainly startups, to build a physical demonstrator of the vehicle they intend to develop far before the complete style and engineering maturity. This is because they need to present the forthcoming vehicle model to the main stakeholders or they want to participate to a public event and unveil the show car to announce the news to the world. That many times, the car manufacturer would like also a performing and running show car, embedding the main features of the electric platform, and they ask that it's drivable in restricted areas. Thanks to the partnership with Bentele, we studied how to respond to those car manufacturers that need to have in a short time period a so-called running show car and see as soon as possible the new style applied to a running demonstrator. Our designers, engineers, modelers already started how to integrate the Bentele electric drive system into a show car so that, so that we can display in a single product both the new style and the entire package of performances offered by the best chassis integrated. The show car will embody the Pininfarina heritage in car design with a unique style conceived on purpose for the new car model of the customer. 
The customer will be involved in the styling process from the very first concept idea, throughout sketches and renderings reviews, up to the virtual modeling and the final show car. The attention for all the details and the craftsmanship experience in Pininfarina will guarantee the final aesthetic quality. Then the integration of the bed chassis will enable the show car to explore the package of performances given by the close to serious components. So the fast track demonstrator will have close to serious body stiffness, high level of drivability up to 100 km per hour speed, e-drive line and battery components close to those of serious uh, development platform. The car design will also concern the interiors, of course, that will be 100% customized for seats, instrument panel, for instance, ambient lighting, and so on and so forth. The console can integrate an interactive HMI that can be highly customized as well using Pininfarina expertise in user interface and user experience design. The UI UX design can be conceived all around the final customer experience and in connection with the show car launch event or presentation. We think since the very first phases of the concept ideation to all physical and ephemeral touch points in an holistic approach. Let's think, for instance, to auto show booth immersive experience, test drive with journalists, social media campaigns for marketing, pop-up shops, dealership, and so on. Back to the show, the show car itself, the main message we would like to share with you throughout this brief introduction is that we, with this fast track demonstrator program, in eight months, Pininfarina and Bentele together can realize the design dedicated to the show car, the show car manufacturing, and the integration of the beds in order to have a running demonstrator completely functioning that shows both the unique style of the new vehicle model and the bed's technological capacity. I thank you for your attention and I leave the floor to Eve for his conclusion messages. Thank you very much, Tiziana. Thank you for these insights. So in the meanwhile, we have received some questions already. Um, we have selected some, like this one, for example. Giuseppe, which impact uh, the pandemic had on Pinifarina capacity to support its clients in the design, the design development? Thank you, Eva. Very, very interesting question. Uh, I have to say that, uh, I mean, uh, all businesses in general uh, have been hit uh, uh, by, by the pandemic. Uh, and uh, I mean, we, we are in an industry together, Bentler and Pininfarina, an industry that has been hit uh, strongly, we should say, by the pandemic. But uh, uh, in specific, as regards uh, the possibility to carry on uh, our programs, uh, our design programs uh, with customers worldwide, uh, uh, we had uh, the capacity, thanks uh, to our technology, our tools, uh, the Sala Sergio Virtual Lab that was uh, uh, depicted by Dimitri, not to suspend, not to interrupt uh, any program worldwide. Uh, this is because uh, all the design reviews, uh, they have been conducted, uh, carried on uh, through uh, streaming, uh, through virtual reality, through real-time uh, sharing uh, of uh, the design reviews uh, themselves. Uh, and this is a great plus uh, in uh, the so-called new normality, because uh, at the end we all uh, experience the fact that uh, there are and there probably uh, will be also in the, in the next future restrictions about uh, travels uh, worldwide. So the fact that uh, we may interact with our customers worldwide uh, uh, without uh, needing a physical presence is definitely a benefit for our customers, first of all, uh, but also a more efficient way for uh, co-working, uh, for cooperating with them. Thank you very much, Giuseppe. Um, Marco, there's a question for you. Marco, can you say when is the body on frame solution used and when a unibody architecture? Um, yes, 
um, the body on frame solution is is already quite well implemented in the market in, in a lot of cars and maybe you don't know them or you don't know that they have a body on frame solution um, the body on frame solution has an as a big advantage as we set this up with extrusion aluminium profile with the effect that we really can reduce the tooling costs and that leads to um, I would say a commercial benefit for your application that means especially for for lower volumes uh, maybe below 100,000 vehicles per year um, this body on frame solution makes from the commercial side absolutely sense as uh, for the depreciation of the more of the expensive uh, press tools for a for a steel underbody uh, cannot be compensated with these numbers another effect of the of the aluminium and aluminium extrusion is of course the lightweight uh, this is the uh, the benefit of, of aluminum and especially in the in the D and E uh, segment uh, you always face um, vehicle weights uh, above 2.5 tons uh, as already the battery pack receives a weight of 600 kilogram plus so if, if you don't go for the lightweight approach your car easily can exceed the 3 ton total weight and then you get very difficult driving dynamics and very difficult situation for your I would say robustness of the car because three tons at 200 kilometers per hour speed not easy to handle so um, that's why we we go for this solution uh, with aluminum and and aluminum extrusion profiles thank you Marco so um, Dimitri there are two very similar questions for you so First is, for the fast vehicle demonstrator, after how many weeks it would be possible to see the first style catches and to have the complete style research? Well, I will give you an answer as quick as our process. So for the 2D parts, uh, uh, three to four weeks. And uh, for the entire styling development, including the 3D part, uh, three months. So after this period, we can start the building of the uh, prototype and in eight months it can be ready. Well, that, that, that sounds that's really, really quick. Yeah. And that's an, another question, um, which is, uh, may I know for 150 kilowatts, what uh, cell is used and of what quantity? Marco, I think this quits, uh, fits quite well for you. Yes, of course. So um, in, in our Bentley drive system, actually we use uh, prismatic cells um, in, in, the, in, the, in the dimension of uh, we put uh, 84 kilowatt hours uh, into the underbody, which will last for nearly 500 kilometers range. But of course, we are also able to implement any other kind of battery and uh, at least referring to the wheelbase, we can also achieve, achieve different uh, capacity levels um, of, of batteries. So there you see also our modular approach gives you flexibility uh, in that direction. Thank you very much, Marco. And there's another one which is also um, is very, fits very well to you, Marco. So in which areas do you see potential of usage of aluminum extrusion profiles in e-mobility? Yeah, maybe this, this goes in the same direction as mentioned with the body on frame. So, so the two benefits of aluminum lightweight and the benefit of extrusion profile uh, nearly very or very low tooling costs uh, lead, to, lead to good potential uh, for, for low volume cars and of course for the bigger segment cars, uh, D and E segment. And especially if you go for aluminum extrusion profile, you can very easily increase your stiffness of the car. And maybe for an example, we did a, a side pole a crash test simulation on our beds without the upper body. And actually the, the, the beds um, uh, can, can at least cover uh, up to or nearly 80% of the needed crash stiffness for the side pole crash, crash test. So this reduces the requirements for the upper body to uh, at least contribute to the crash behavior 
that gives the designer freedom and of course this can reduce costs because you can at least um, I would say at least yeah, reduce the effort on on the body for the for the crash behavior. So a lot of advantages we we have implemented in our in our beds rolling chassis uh, for the body on frame where we use this technology of extrusion aluminum. Okay, thank you, Marco. And there's one question again uh, regarding the pandemic. So are there any processes developed as a response to the pandemic that are going to stick even when the situation goes back to normal? And I think this is a question for Giuseppe, for you, and also for Marco afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. Uh, yes, probably there are uh, uh, some uh, processes uh, that uh, will stay, will keep on staying uh, that way even afterwards. Uh, uh, and in particular, this uh, extensive usage uh, of uh, digital uh, digital modeling, uh, uh, virtual reality, uh, they will stay. They will stay because uh, there has been a sort of acceleration uh, in the usage of these uh, technologies, these methodologies, I would say more than technologies, uh, for speeding up uh, the comprehension of uh, how a given new product uh, will look. And this at the end is uh, a benefit uh, from the cost standpoint, from the efficiency, efficiency standpoint, uh, but also from uh, the, the standpoint of uh, understanding sooner, in some cases, uh, uh, issues uh, when a new product is being developed, uh, they do come from the fact that uh, only in a later stage uh, it is fully understood how the new family of vehicles will look. So uh, the more you are capable to bring the comprehension to the, to the main stakeholders uh, at the very beginning of the process, uh, the better it is. And, uh, and just to finish and to handing over before handing over to Marco, the other aspect uh, has been mentioned by, by Dimitri and by Tiziana in the design process. Uh, it's about uh, user experience. Uh, the pandemic has brought uh, a level of awareness, a higher awareness for all the aspects related to, uh, to uh, user experience. An electric vehicle by itself uh, requires a different interaction with infrastructures. Thanks to the ADAS, uh, uh, which is normally associated with uh, electric vehicles, uh, brings the new experiences in the interaction between uh, vehicles and vehicles and the infrastructure. So uh, those uh, aspects, uh, they need to be addressed uh, already in the design phase. They will stay there. They will get even uh, incremental in, in future. But please, Marco, I'm handing over to you for uh, further uh, uh, comments. Um, for us, the, the pandemic was, uh, was a good proof point and, and a confirmation of how we have been doing business in the past. Because uh, in the last years, we anyhow had set up um, some global projects with, uh, with different locations in China, in Europe, and in the US, for example. So anyhow, as you, as you are not able to, to be uh, at any time anywhere in the world, we were quite familiar with with the virtual communication, uh, with with I would say non non personal development meetings, etc. So this really um, gives us a hand in in the pandemic because we proceeded with this working, um, and and this was was again uh, helps us a lot and and maybe makes us in the e-mobility uh, a little bit less suffer uh, from from the pandemic, yeah. but. Um, Honestly speaking, I'm I'm still I'm still a fan of, of meeting personally, and and uh, it, it's often more efficient if you can talk with with a CAE and CAD guys, looking them over the shoulder, working with them. It's quite more efficient. So um, anyhow, um, this 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 is, is a solution. And of course, as Giuseppe said, we are also working on this viral topics uh, in the development. And of course, in the business making, for example, and maybe you have mentioned, we have started a, a campaign for social selling, which is uh, a quite new to, uh, in comparison to the to the conservative sales process. 
So uh, we went via LinkedIn, Twitter, etc., and tried to address the customers, and this this worked quite well, um, and and at least at zero traveling costs. So it was a good proof point that that life goes on with and without pandemic, and yes, you can make business and and engineering in these times. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. And um, there's one more question about chassis maintenance. Marco, maybe you can give some some hints about this one. Um, chassis maintenance, uh, in which direction, question mark. So um, maybe the, the chassis engineering and the chassis products are, are made for uh, lifetime usage, yeah? and with, uh, referring to the requirements of all OEMs. So um, actually there is, there is less maintenance needed on, on the chassis. Um, and if you mean the full rolling chassis, um, potentially um, there is the option in case you take the electric and electronic architecture from our partner Bosch, you receive components from the Bosch company. And as you well know, um, Bosch has a worldwide service net, and this could also be an option for a customer while going for uh, the rolling chassis solution that he can at least uh, can get access to a service net uh, with our, our partner Bosch um, as, as much as, as he is taking over uh, this electronic architecture, maybe, as a solution. And uh, there's uh, one more question before time is, uh, time is running up, actually. So, um, this one is, uh, do you also, Bentler, so this is for Marco again, do you also provide the individual parts that make up the active platform, or do you only make the entire package available? Um, there, there are two ways. Uh, first, the, um, our, our platform. Um, the idea is, of course, that you, that you are able to take over the modular solution and not start from scratch. Because starting from scratch increases your engineering costs and, of course, uh, your time to market. And in the end, you will not achieve the economies of scale by not using the modular solutions um, in that case. So therefore, we, we have gone this way for the pre-development and pre-integrated platform. This is the main idea. But of course, um, if the customer wants to have a customized solution, we are able to set up his own platform fully from scratch with everything he needs. This is at least also a solution. Um, it's in the choice of the customer. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. And um, yeah, I think we have learned a lot about excellent body design and fast vehicle prototypes while using the Bentler platform. So Giuseppe, Dimitri, Tiziana, Marco, and Julia, uh, you have really proven how car manufacturers benefit when design meets functionality. I'm pretty sure that many of you might have further questions within the next days and weeks, and we are happy to answer them. So if, in case you have any questions, just send us an email to automotive at pininfarina.it or electro.mobility at bentler.com. Last but not least, thank you very much for joining this web conference and we wish you a nice day or morning or evening wherever you are at the moment. Stay safe and all the best for you.